Uh, namaste. Welcome to the Golfer's Edge. This is a 30-day uh, intro program that was created just for you and it's all about um, reducing your risk of injury while increasing your performance. And we're going to do that 15 minutes a day. There's four videos and each week you'll begin with a new video. Uh, so welcome to week one. It's going to be super simple this week. Uh, it's all about introducing, um, in introducing yourself actually to the breath work and to just start to gently move into those really dense tight areas of the body uh, starting to create better balance in the body so that it prepares you for week two good so we're going to begin on our back and just come on over come to your back and pull your knees into your chest good now squeeze your knees in and then begin to massage your low back you're just kind of rocking gently from side to side Beginning today in a spinal twist, take your arms out wide to a T and let your knees drop to the right. You're gonna stack your knees and your hips, turning your nose in the opposite direction of your knees. Close your eyes and now bring your awareness and your focus to your breathing. The key to this program is the breath. The key to yoga truly is the pranayama, the breath work. We're going to be setting up basic shapes of poses. It's called asana. And then commit to the breath, the pranayama, allowing the breath work to do all, all the work. Good. So with your eyes closed, start to lengthen out your breathing in and out of nose. This yoga breath is an exclusive breath through the nose and is long and deep diaphragmatic breaths just about to the count of two or three as you want to imagine is inhale two three and exhale two three in through the nose two three and out through the nose two three so we'll be breathing exclusively through the nose creating a rhythmic deep diaphragmatic breath preparing to switch sides bring your knees back into your chest and take your knees to the left. Now your knees are to the left and your arms are out wide to a T. Your nose turns to the right. Once you set up the basic shape, the pose, then come back to your yoga breathing. If you forgot to breathe, come back to it, creating a little bit longer and deeper breath. I'm gonna count out five full breaths on the side. Close your eyes and just listen to my to the sound of my voice. Good. Beginning with number one, inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Two, breath comes in and exhale. Three, exhale. Four, Exhale. Five. Exhale. Lips are together. Jaws relax. Eyes are closed. Slowly bring your knees back into your chest. We're going to begin to open up the hips, releasing sciatica pain by opening up hips, stretching the IT band with what we call a reclined pigeon pose. Take your feet down onto the mat, and then gently take your right foot, cross it over the center of your left thigh. You might choose to stay right here. This could be enough of a stretch for you, or you could take your block and put your block underneath your left foot. That might feel good as well. If you still feel like there's more space to move into, take your right hand and either reach for your left thigh with both hands or your sh left shin with both hands. The key is to not have your head up here. You want to be relaxed wherever you are. Just draw the legs a little closer to you. And if you have that bind, begin to gently rock. If you can't quite reach the bind but with your hands, you can always use a strap as well. So the foot is crossed. You know, you're using a strap so you can bring the legs to you. Good. Gently pull them in a little bit closer. Close your eyes. Take five more breaths. You want, <coughs> excuse me. You want to feel a place of resistance. 
So you'll find a place where you feel the tension and then you want to soften into it by breathing. Never forcing, never bouncing during your practice, just setting up the basic shape of the pose and breathing. Unwind and prepare to switch sides. Take your left foot and cross it over the center of the right thigh, hang out right here, or move in deeper by using your bind to reach or use your hands to reach. Draw your legs closer to your body, but your head is on the ground. Good, eyes are closed. Now breathe a little bit deeper. Breathe a little bit deeper and notice what happens when we start to open up the hips. There's a lot of tension and stress that we hold in the hips. Oftentimes, you might start to create tension in other parts of the body. Be aware, be aware of that and soften through your face, soften through your neck and breathe a little bit deeper in and out of your nose. Pull the legs a little bit closer to you. Good, in and out of your nose. Two more breaths. and unwind. Take your feet down, pull your knees into your chest, and gently roll up into a seat. Now, I know not everyone is comfortable with their legs crossed. If your hamstrings feel really tight, you can always take a pillow underneath your seat to lift you up. This is gonna release hamstring pain or low back pain due to tight hamstrings or glutes. You can also use a block come to a place where you're comfortable. Maybe your legs don't completely cross. Maybe your legs are straighter. Wherever it is, it's okay. Just to slowly come to a nice tall seat so you bring awareness to your spine. Good. Inhale, reach your arms up over your head and lift your gaze. Take your right hand and just reach for your left wrist. We're gonna extend the left side body, a gentle side bend to the right. Inhale, reach up through center and then switch sides, a slow side bend to the left. Inhale, your back to center, open your heart and gaze. Find a twist, take the right hand behind you and the left hand onto your right knee. Turn your nose past your right shoulder and close your eyes. Get your spine a little bit longer, nice long spine in and out of your nose. And unwind, turn your nose forward and switch sides, right hand onto left knee, sit tall, nose past left shoulder. Spine is long, eyes are closed, and the breath should feel like an ocean wave, an even steady flow moving in and out of your nose. Unwind, turn your nose forward and extend your legs, flex your feet. We're gonna set up our first seated forward fold. Remember with our yoga practice, not to fold from the rib cage, we're actually hinging from the hip crease. You wanna imagine that your hips are moving back as your heart is moving forward. That's how we move into our forward fold, not hinging from the rib cage. Doesn't matter if you can reach your, your shins or your feet or your ankles, whatever you can reach, just grab onto something, lift up, and slowly melt in. As you melt in, you're lengthening your spine without forcing or bouncing, that's key, continuing to breathe and then tuck in, let your head drop. Close your eyes, round your spine, and then really, really find some softness here. So when you're in your forward fold, I know it's easy to start to try to muscle it, start to pull your spine and your thighs together. Instead, what you wanna do is you wanna set up the basic shape of the pose and then surrender to what we call the pranayama, the breath. Let the breath, the deep diaphragmatic breaths, guide your heart towards your thighs slowly. Release your bind and gently roll up. We're gonna set up a seated twist. Left leg stays long, right knee into your chest, sit tall. Take your right hand behind your right hip Sit even taller and hook your left elbow outside the right knee. With your long spine, slowly take an exhale to turn your nose past your right shoulder. If your elbow doesn't hook, use your hand. Sit tall and relax your face. Breath is in and out of nose. Eyes are closed.
unwind and turn forward, switching sides. This time it is the right leg that is extended. The left knee comes in and pull your shoulders back so that you're not slouching. Left hand is behind your left hip and the right elbow hooks outside the left knee. Maybe it's your hand, just start to turn your nose past your left shoulder. Remember every inhale, we're lengthening the spine, getting taller through the spine. Every exhale, gently turning a little bit deeper. Our practice is progresso, so you need to be patient, slow, and steady. 15 minutes a day is all you need, and within 30 days, you'll notice a greater range of motion. You'll begin to notice a release in your sciatica, less knee pain, low back pain, and shoulder pain. Unwind, turn your nose forward, and slowly make your way to hands and knees. Good, take a tabletop pose. We're moving right into our tabletop pose and continuing to work our spine today. Remember, a healthy spine needs to move in all six directions. We're gonna move into a few cat cows. With the inhale, the belly drops, the hips lift, and the chin lifts. The exhale is the opposite motion, tuck it in. In through the nose, slow and steady. Let your chin and tailbone rise. Exhale, squeeze and curl, round it in. Take a couple more just like that, in through the nose and out through the nose. But see if you can exaggerate, and we're actually starting to feel the connection of the body with the breath. Remember, this is a progressive 30-day practice. Be patient, we're just finding the foundations today finding the foundations. Good. Now come on back into neutral, roll your toes under. We're gonna move into our first downward facing dog. In downward facing dog, your hands are stretched out wide. Hands are about shoulder width distance apart, feet about hip distance apart. You're lifting sit bones and melting heart in the direction of thighs. Let your head go and even start to shake it out. Take about five breaths right here. Good, in through the nose and out through the nose. Let your head hang heavy. Maybe shifting slightly from side to side and then we'll start to shift a little bit more by wagging the tail or we call it taking the dog for a walk. Bend your right knee and shift the body weight toward the left heel. Switching sides, just gonna shifting toward the right. And then moving from side to side as you begin to open up the backside body, releasing feet and ankles, shins, even extending through the hamstrings and glutes and decompressing your spine. This is also an inversion, really great for stimulating your mind, finding your focus, continue to breathe. Take your feet and place them on the outside, actually just kind of touching the long end of the mat and walk your hands back. Now you're in a wide-legged or kind of a medium-legged forward fold. You might use a block underneath your hands or even two. Just take a place, maybe your block is under your hands, lift your chin so you're flattening your back and exhale, fold right in. Mindful not to hyperextend your knees so there's a little bit of a release in your knees and then shake your head. Continue to feel the length of your spine, and we're going to move into what we call our spinal warm-up flow. Keep your left hand where it is and gently wave open with the right arm. Lift your gaze to the right fingertip. Right palm will come down and switch sides. Slowly unravel to the left. Lift your heart. Exhale, take your left hand down, and with a little bend in your knees, roll up mindfully, one vertebrae at a time. Now take your arms way up overhead, lift your chin, and with your right hand, you're actually grabbing onto your left wrist, extending up and over. Take your nose down toward the right foot. Inhale, come back to center and switch sides. Extend first and then over toward the left. Come on back to center, open up and fold forward at the waist. A half lift to gaze out, exhale to fold in. 
Release your head, release your neck, and maybe, maybe you sway a little bit from side to side. A little break or bend in your knees. You might even hold on to opposite elbows with opposite hands. Whatever you do, be mindful not to balance. We're just allowing the upper body to soften toward the thighs and creating some space in between each vertebrae. Hands come down to the ground. Inhale, gaze out. Exhale to fold in. Bend your left knee. Inhale to wave open to the right. Exhale to take it down. Inhale, open to the left. Gaze up. And exhale, take it down. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, to the right. Inhale, rise up. And to the left. Inhale, open up. Exhale, last time, fold in. Inhale, a half lift and exhale to fold. Release your head, release your neck. Take five full breaths in through the nose and out through the nose without bouncing or forcing. Let everything go, let everything go. Find that even flow of the breath in and out. Jaws relax, mouth is closed. Last twist, inhale to the right. Lift your chin, lift your right hand. Exhale, right palm will come down and inhale now to the left. Lift your left fingers. Left hand will come down and then slowly roll it up. And exhale, slide your hands to your heart center. Take a moment to close your eyes and set an intention for your day. Take one more big breath Cleansing breath in through nose, out of the mouth. Namaste.